Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this DIY, I'm actually going to create pineapple chalkboards. One that you can hang and one that you can stand up. If you guys would like to see how I created this look, just keep on watching. Of course, here I'm saying hello and I'm showing you what I'm going to be using to create these chalkboards. I actually got the two pineapple shapes from the Dollar Tree. They are both decor pieces that you can use for the luau section that they had for spring and summer. And I am going to create the stuff in, on the back of it. As well as I needed paint brushes, I use paintbrush foam sponges. I'm actually going to be using the turquoise blue paint as well as we needed obviously chalkboard paint. Um, this one isn't the pure black color, it was kind of like off black, but it still did the job. I have a variety of gem stickers that I'm going to use as well. I'm just snipping off the decor sign because we don't need that part. I mean, you could use it if you want to, but I didn't want to use it, so I just snipped it off. Right here, I'm telling you not to paint on that side because it's a lot harder to paint on it, but to paint on the other side, which is completely white. I actually wanted to give a shout out to Moji's Style here on YouTube. This is where I actually got inspired by her pineapple chalkboard DIY that she's done with acrylic gems. And I decided to take my own spin on it. I will be leaving a link to her channel as well as the video that she's done with the pineapple chalkboard um, in my description box. So make sure you go check her out and tell her that I said hi. So I've done the first coat and now I'm going to do a second coat. So the second coat is done and that is how the second coat looks on it. Now I'm going to go on to the smaller pineapple. Just continuing on with the same steps I did as the first one, doing two coats of the chalkboard paint. And there we have it, that one is done as well. So now moving on with the turquoise blue, I am going to do the border around the pineapple. So now with the border, I actually had to go around it two times to get it the color of the pigment that I wanted. With the smaller pineapple, I actually decided to do gold instead of the turquoise blue. I thought that gold would look a little bit better with the smaller one.
So with the gold, I actually had to do about three or four different coats in order to get it to be as gold as I wanted it to be. That's why I'm telling you, we didn't know how many I was going to have to use. Now for this clip, I actually, for some reason, it got deleted and I was so upset that I didn't want to have to go back and take everything off and redo it again to show you guys. But basically, I just used the gem stickers and just went around the inside, which is what I'm telling you here. And it is, it's pretty self-explanatory. Like, I'm sure anyone can figure it out that I just put gem around the border of it. So that is what I did here because I lost the clip. So I'm going to do the same idea which is outlining the top of the pineapple and around the side as well because of the clip that I lost, at least I was able to have this clip to show you guys. going along with the same idea for the smaller one as well. Now I actually did decide to go on the outside as well because I thought that it would look a little bit more cleaner if I had more gems on it. And the cool thing about this project is that you could do as many gems as you want and create everything and I just decided to do the simple one. Uh, I might actually decide to put on more gems in the future. If, you, if I do, you can check out my Instagram and I will, it will be there um, so you guys can see it. And there we have it. This is the completed look. Um, I'm still getting to know, learn how to do these DIY videos properly and make it look fancy and stuff, but this is what I've created and I'm very happy about it because I love pineapples and I love gem and I love glam and yes, and this is the one that you can hang on the wall. I just decided to put XOXO to show you guys on here. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you guys definitely like this video give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. See you later. Bye.